What's up guys? So this is Russ, rwgresearch.com and basically uh, it's really late and the World Series is on. I think this is game seven so we're kinda hanging out. So I decided to uh, rebuild this uh, cell that someone has donated. Um, the man's name is Al and uh, this is a really nice looking cell and uh, he uh, put a lot of time into this and uh, he's had it for a while and I guess he uh, wanted to uh, give it to someone that can uh, can use it and uh, so basically I'm, I'm kind of modifying it to the way I like it um, I'm actually going to pump water through this <clears throat> instead of just letting the bubbles flow out the way he had it um, it's still kind of his so I'm just kind of mo modifying it without doing too much um, but I think they're good modifications and uh, the reason that I'm making this video now is to kind of show you the building of this um, before I put it together. So <clears throat> I want to pump water through this um, and basically remove the bubbles from the um, pipe faster that way. It kind of keeps the stuff flowing. And um, so uh, what I've come up with uh, I'll show you the way he built this thing. Basically, you got this bottom plate, and uh, it's got a seal on it. Okay, and there are two screws on the bottom of this. That's positive and negative. I'll give you a close-up for that in a second. So this pipe sits on here, and the cell sticks out of the bottom. The cell sits like this, and somewhere there's some all thread. I don't think I brought it up. That runs down here and squeezes these two items together and holds this in position um, and what I'm going to be doing is uh, drilling a hole in this uh, bottom plate uh, for water inlet okay <clears throat> and then what's going to happen is the water is going to flow against the bottom of here and then up through this little bitty crack and then inside through the tubes and out the top. <clears throat> um, this fits in here really tight. Okay, so I'm going to have to kind of squeeze this in here and uh, it looks like it should seal pretty well. And uh, basically that seal will seal against that tight enough. There might be a little leakage, but I just kind of want to make some water flow through this. Um, and then what I'll end up doing is probably uh, sealing these caps or uh, or putting caulk, caulking uh, some sort of a plug in the bottom of here, and uh, that way the water has to flow through in and out. So uh, I'll give you a little better close up of this. Um, basically, the negative or positive, whichever one you hook it up to ties directly to this plate and then the other side goes through the bottom plate into the top plate and uh, these are uh, welded onto a plate the, both the inside and the outside and then what Al had was uh, a little cap on the top here and what I've done is cut it so that there's notches and then it, it basically leaves a little gap for a little more um, to flow through there you can kind of see it on that middle one but uh, yeah, so I want to make this quick little video. Hopefully that you can hear me because I'm speaking kind of softly. And um, I just kind of want to show you what I did to this cell and uh, show you the construction. And uh, just give a little shout out to Al for uh, letting me use this. Um, I will be using this for the basic tests. Um, I'm going to be doing some testing on uh, gas burn rate and uh, modifying the gas and stuff like that, um, ionizing it, and uh, this is just going to be kind of my test cell. I do have uh, the 5x5 from Bill Williams that is a split gas cell, and I'll be using it to meter mix different uh, volumes of hydrogen to oxygen, but um, I really just need a basic cell, and he, uh, he uh, had it laying around and offered it to me, so I said sure, uh, can't really turn down a good offer like that. So anyway, this is Russ, rwgresearch.com. Hopefully uh, the Cardinals win, although I'm not a real sports fan. My sister is. Alright, peace guys. Have a good one.
Later.